Planner here today with a fun Pineapple Trio card. And this is with a new stamp set I just picked up earlier this week called Coastal Village. And it is a Recollections brand stamp. And it did come with two fun die cuts. So I'm just going to cut out my pineapple there. And then the pineapple is a three-step stamp. So I'm using my negative and positive to line up my stamping and inking. For this whole card uh, on all the color stamping is uh, Distress Oxide ink. They worked fantastic with this stamp set. I did try a little bit earlier with just regular Distress ink and it was not a happy camper. So uh, the Distress Oxides worked fantastic. And here I'm using my Misty, which again, fantastic for using these multi-step stamps. It allows you to um, line up your stamp as I'm doing here with the top of the pineapple and putting my head in the way just for all of you picking that up then I can ink it stamp stamp again and then if I need to I can re-ink that and everything stays in place you can't do this with a normal block well I should say I can't do this with a normal block so I love this tool and we have this super cute pineapple and then we had lots of pineapples because I really couldn't stop myself so yay pineapples I love them <laughs> we're going to use three on this card. Now I'm going to move on to working on the background. And this is just a bright uh, blue cardstock that I had in my stash. And then I'm going to take the detail image from the pineapple and then the top. And I started stamping these on the same block, but then there was a little bit of separation between the two stamps. So I actually um, just went to stamping the body and then the front, the little top piece separately, which worked fine. And I'm just going to use uh, the Versamark ink on this one. So you just want a watermark look. And just stamping that all around my card. Then once I've got all of my pineapple parts as I'd like them, I'm going to use clear embossing powder. I use clear so often, I actually just keep a whole bunch of it in this little Tupperware tub, which works fantastic. And I actually keep it in my desk, not with the rest of my embossing powders. And something about embossing, I still love it. I always get excited to see once you apply this powder that it turns into a liquid. Too much fun. So I'll see here, I'm just gonna heat set this. This just makes that embossing ink and the powder really pop and give it a little, while it's still tone on tone, it's still kind of a watermark look, it just pops a little bit more. And this card has a lot going on, but I still like it. And then you guys, you know me. So I had to add a little bit of bling to my background. So once I finish with this, I'm going to take, there's this very small flower stamp. Again, using that Versamark ink after I have um, prepared my surface. Just kind of stamped a few places. And then I'm going to use this ancient gold embossing powder in enchanted gold. It's got this fantastic iridescence to it. Just stamp, tap off the excess. I'm going to do a few more. Applying my powder. And then going to heat set same way. This stuff, it looks really neat. I kind of forgot I had this in my drawer. And I love the way it looked on this card. And then I'm going to take after this, there's an even smaller little embellishment that I just stamped only with the Versamark ink. I didn't emboss it or anything else. And I probably could have left that off, but I still, you know, it didn't hurt anything. Now I've got my background all set. So I'm going to mount that to this bright yellow using my fantastic ATG gun. And then I'm going to add a thin strip of kind of a navy cardstock. And you will see, once I lay this on, I realize it's not straight. This is the one downside to using an ATG gun is, oh yeah, it's stuck in place. There's no pulling that up. So we just went with it because it wasn't too crooked. And once the pineapples are on, you can hardly tell. So I decided I wanted to use pop dots for these babies. And I'm going to put a whole large one. And then don't be afraid to cut your pop dots. So I just trim these in half to fit them on there where I need it. This way I just wanted a full support of my pineapple and make my pop dots go a little bit further. 
and I, you can tell I got really serious on this one. I actually used my ruler to line it up. <laughs> Normally I'm, I'm keen to just eyeball things, but these pineapples are very serious. So they had to go on straight. I'm just going to apply our pop dots to pineapple two and three. And add those to our card. And again, you can see just trimming down one of the large pop dots to fit right in the middle of the top there. And once I get these pineapples on, I'm just going to add a couple of fantastic eyelets. These were the perfect color. I have a ton of eyelets, and so you'll see I've been trying to use up some more of them. So I'm just going to use my eyelet setting toolkit here. This is a metal hole punch and a hammer. And making sure if you use these that you um, uh, hammer right onto, in this case I've got a small setting mat. And just insert those eyelids and then set them. And they were really the perfect color for this card. And now we're going to move on to the sentiment. I use my Spellbinders Nest Abilities Label 1, the smallest shape there, and stamped the sentiment in tuxedo uh, black from Memento. And then I'm just going to use that, the actual die, as a mask. I have not used this small of a die for this mask and I had a little bit of trouble. It kept popping off, but I just kind of kept working with it till I got the look I was going for. And I'm just using that round ink blending tool. The first color is that fossilized amber again. This is the oxide distress ink. And then I'm going to come back in with that spice marmalade. If you can see my little die there keeps moving around but just it was pretty forgiving with resetting it and I like the way that looks so just kind of put that on the card again I'm going to use my ATG gun to add adhesive to the back of that sentiment and then no card would be compute complete with a little out a little bit of stickle so I'm using eucalyptus on the top portion of the pineapple and then I'll put a little bit of yellow stickles on the body of the pineapple. And once I've got those as I want it, I'm just gonna set this baby aside to dry and we are done. This card just makes me smile. I love the glitter. I love the pop of color. And I think you might see a few more pineapple themed items Liked this set, and again, the Distress Oxide worked fantastic with this stamp set. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please visit me at www.jenniferminer.com for more projects and ideas. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.